All right, I'm going to uh, do what I can to make a video uh, about mounting a Western Defender snowplow to a Jeep TJ. This one's seven feet two. Controller. In here, it's the mount that goes on the frame of the Jeep. Over here, it looks like a mess, but it's not too bad. There's a uh, isolation module. You've got two leads that go to the battery. Uh, right here, ends are a little small. I haven't quite uh, figured out how we're going to work that. There are plug and play for the uh, headlights, drivers and passenger side. Um, right here. These need to get spliced into the uh, parking brake turn signals on each side. Just something inside the cab. This, this piece gets run through the firewall into the cab to the controller. I think I'm going to mount the isolation module over here. There's a little tray down there, I don't know. Almost looks like a small battery tray that you couldn't fit a battery into. Real estate over here is pretty slim. Um, I really have nowhere to mount it, so it's got to be over here. It's just a little bit of a pain. I did already run these leads, the power leads, and then the line coming from the control module. I ran them down underneath the Jeep. I'll probably mount them to the, mount them to the bumper here or run them up behind the, uh, the grill for the radiator. Haven't decided, but we'll get back to you. All right, the uh, turn signal wire, or the headlight wires, if you can see that in there, just plugs into the back of the headlight, interrupts the headlight circuit, plugs in here. This wire goes down to the turn signal. Driver's side, same thing. Plugging into the back of the headlight, interrupting that circuit, taking the power off of it. Now I have three wires over here. Turn signal, parking light, and a blue wire. I'll have to figure out what that's for. Um, so that's the easy part. These wires get run over to that uh, module there, which I'm going to mount there. I'm not going to screw it in just yet. Uh, so on here, I'm just doing this first. This guy gets plugged into another wiring harness as we uh, go through, but I'm just going to put this in first, kind of get it tucked out of the way. I'm probably going to hold off on splicing until I know that this is going to be the way it's going to fit in here. And right, I'll check back. All right, get the wiring kind of tidied up here. Again, Everything's run, all the wires are run. This one goes to the turn signal. I'm not hooking that up yet. I have not hooked up I have not hooked up the leads on the uh, battery yet. I'm just got them sitting there, run the lines down. Across the front here, I'll tidy them up when it's all done. Over here we have the uh, turn signal, um, engine parking light, and uh, I haven't uh, looked to see what the other blue wire is, but that needs to get hooked up. Um, module got run down there. Again, I haven't permanently fixed it. Uh, if you could just see to the side of the steering. I ran that, uh, I ran the control wire into the cab. <clears throat> Might be a little dark in here. In here, uh, got the control down here. It needed power uh, to a switched um, accessory, so I pulled down. There's a little light right here. I pulled down, uh, soldered in uh, the splice there. A little bit old school. I like to solder instead of those quick connects. So I'll tidy. We ended up with a whole bunch of line down here, a lot of extra line. So I'll kind of coil it up and tuck it underneath the dash, keep it away from the uh, gas pedal so we don't run into a Toyota-like incident.
Now we uh, gotta mount this fella. Um, there's some bolts included. These little guys, I'm guessing there's something that's a little hard to reach. In the kit. So I'm gonna sort through the instructions here. See if we can't stick this thing on. Onto the uh, mount for the frame here. I've just kind of got it held up. It is, you have to remove a T55 Torx from here and over there under the bumper. Um, and I've also found that I have to remove the steering box bolts to get this sucker to fit in there. So I'm just in the process of doing that and hopefully get it popped up into the frame here. This is the driver's side. I had to drill a 17 30 seconds hole there. Uh, same right here. Got these dodgy little, uh, I hate to even take it out. These guys slip through a hole in the frame. Uh, this one will have to bend a little bit. The other one got in there. You can see the tail hanging out. Put a bolt on it, tighten it up, move to the other side. All right, got the turn signals hooked up. I just soldered it into the lead here, working on the other side. Got this thing on, this is a, these are removable. There's two pins. Um, pull that out so you don't have to have them on all summer. But what I don't like about them, that's gonna bug the hell out of me. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get some washers put in here on both sides. Uh, put them in where both the pins go through. Maybe that'll work, but I did hook it up. Everything does work. Uh, a little bit of a pain in the ass to get get the stand set right um, the first time. And the headlights do work. Uh, and I think the last, I had, last little bit I have here is the uh, turn signals to do. I was questioning what this blue wire was. Um, We've got, it, it's, it's unused, so the last two wires I have to hook up here are the parking, or parking lights and um, turn signal. And we should be ready to tidy everything up. All right, so I don't know if I'll need airbags in the front. It drops a little bit. Give you an idea, this is seven feet two. Probably still gonna be driving over some snow. Uh, give you an idea here. It's a little bit of a pain in the ass to put on. It doesn't really come on and off as well as it should. Probably because I am not that good at doing it yet. But, that's how I put on my home defender. Bought it from this guy. Good guy, good price. I paid about 40, uh, 400 and some change, 4,400 and some change. Um, I do need to put ballast in the back of the Jeep. I think it needed 70 pounds. Come up with something for that. Anyway, good luck.